choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Going to the moon is not an easy task. It takes a lots of efforts and a rocket, a huge and powerful rocket. These massive engineering marvels help us to explore the universe and other planets. The fuel thirsty engines of these massive machines burn several thousand kilograms of fuel per minute. Today, I will explain how rockets are able to I will explain how rockets are able to travel from the earth to the moon. We will explore the basic principles and the stages of this journey. By the way, I don't know how to make animation, so I will explain everything very easily by using a video game called SFS, or Space Flight Simulator. SFS is a free mobile game, both for Android and iOS. I will leave a link in the description. Step one, after launch, rockets first fly vertically to escape the dense lower atmosphere and reduce air resistance. This phase lasts for about one to two minutes. During this time, the rocket is gaining altitude rapidly, but still at relatively low speeds compared to orbital velocity. After reaching a certain altitude, about 50 to 100 kilometers, the rocket gradually begins a gravity turn to start transitioning from vertical to horizontal flight. This is critical because to enter orbit, the rocket must achieve a high horizontal velocity rather than just altitude. By this point, the rocket is already tilted slightly, and the pitch continues to adjust as it climbs. The rocket will continue to adjust its angle, becoming more horizontal as it approaches space, about 100 to 150 kilometers above Earth. The horizontal phase is where the rocket accelerates to orbital velocity, about 28,000 kilometers per hour, or 17,500 miles per hour, for low Earth orbit. This phase typically takes place three to 10 minutes after launch, depending on the mission profile. We are in the low Earth orbit now. The first step is done, but reaching the orbit is just a tip of the iceberg. Step two, translunar injection or TLI is a critical phase in a space mission where a spacecraft transitions from Earth's orbit to a trajectory that will take it toward the moon. To accomplish this, the spacecraft's engine is fired at a precise time and speed to escape Earth's gravitational pull and head toward lunar orbit. The spacecraft must wait for the correct time to perform the injection, ensuring the moon and spacecraft are aligned so that after the TLI burn, it will intercept the moon's orbit. Ground control calculates when to initiate the burn based on the spacecraft's current orbit and the moon's position. This is done using precise mathematical models. At the calculated moment, the spacecraft's engine is fired. The burn increases the spacecraft's velocity to around 10.7 kilometers per second, or 6.7 miles per second, allowing it to escape Earth's gravitational influence and head toward the moon. After the burn, the spacecraft coasts through space toward the moon along a trajectory known as a free return or direct lunar transfer trajectory. Step three, lunar orbit insertion, LOI, is a critical maneuver in spaceflight where a spacecraft transitions from its trajectory towards the moon into a stable orbit around it. This is typically achieved by firing the spacecraft's main engine when it approaches the moon, slowing its velocity enough for the moon's gravity to capture it into orbit. The engine burn usually happens when the spacecraft is at its closest approach or paraloon to the moon, ensuring maximum efficiency in capturing the spacecraft into orbit. After insertion, the spacecraft is often placed into an elliptical or circular orbit, depending on the mission objectives, such as preparing for a landing or conducting orbital observations. Step four. Once the spacecraft is in lunar orbit, it begins its descent to the surface. The landing module, like the lunar module in Apollo missions, separates from the main spacecraft and uses thrusters to control its descent. The spacecraft fires its descent engines to slow down as it approaches the moon. Onboard computers and sensors guide the spacecraft toward the landing site. The spacecraft needs to land softly to avoid damage. This requires precise control of speed and trajectory during the final approach. And it's all done. After doing everything correctly, we have managed to land our spacecraft on the moon. But what if I told you that our spacecraft is standing on the moon but not touching it? Does that mean the spacecraft is floating on the moon? If you want to know why it's not touching the moon, then watch this next video for the answer.